example, uh, mass of Mars M is equal to 6.42 multiplied by 10 to the power 23 kilogram. And then we have radius of Mars, which is equal to 3.40 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 meter. And let omega be uh, the angular velocity of the rotation of Mars and centrifugal force experienced by the person due to uh, this omega is given by uh, so centrifugal well centrifugal force force is equal to m times omega squared times r here m is mass of the person and gravitational force experienced by the person. Uh, let's say f is the gravitational force equals g times capital M times small m divided by r square. Well, uh, from the bathroom scale, to have zero reading, force on it must be zero. Therefore, net force must be equal to zero. And net force is g m m divided by r square minus m times omega square r is equal to zero. Let's solve for omega. Then omega is the root g times capital M divided by r to the power three. And the time interval of rotation t is equal to two pi divided by omega, right? Uh, so, uh, further time period t is equal to 2 pi into root r cube divided by g times m. This is the gravitational constant. Okay, and now by substituting values, uh, the time period of rotation t is equal to 2 pi into root r cube well r is 3.40 multiply by 10 to the power 6 to the power 3 divided by 6.67 multiply by 10 to the power minus 11 multiply by mass of earth which is 6.42 multiply by 10 to the power 23 right so this is uh, mass m and now time period t is equal to well time period t equals six zero one nine point six here m is the, the mass of mars right this m is mass of mars and the time period is six thousand and nineteen point six second